Um, so in terms of making sure that you're coordinating with other offices in your in your institution, whether they're compliance offices, um, making sure you know where your institution's policies live. There are many people I know who might not recognize or realize where those things live. And if you do know where they live, did you review them? Um, are you familiar with the research related policies at your institution? Are you familiar with the guidance documents and the policies of your most common uh, sponsors that you're working with? And if not, I, I encourage you to go and, and take a look at that. The more that you have those things in your uh, in the back of your mind, the quicker that you can catch things during the course of your review. And I can't stress enough because no one knows everything. And even if you've been in this profession a long time, I think we can all attest that we see new things more often than than I think is even possible. I was uh, I made a joke to Ann and and Aaron. I think it was last week when we were preparing for this that I swear. Um, people have Mad Libs out there and then they just put random words and then into the into whatever scenario. And then that's the email that I receive. Um, and that's a lot of problem solving, but it, that makes it fun, in my opinion. So uh, so conducting thorough proposal reviews and, and coordinating with other offices, again, making sure you're aware of what you need to be compliant with. So all of our institutions likely have similar types of policies, but there's nuance out there. Um, risk tolerance is different uh, between institution and institution, or if you're working for a hospital or other type of organization. Um, these are all things to be mindful of, or if you're state-owned or not, for example, what you may be restricted in what you're able to um, accept or um, or your risk tolerance might be different in that regard. Building partnerships is along the same lines. So when, when you're in the budget process, uh, budget development process during uh, proposal development, for example, are you working with your if the if the positions are are separated out? Are you working with your post award colleagues and getting insight from what are the issues that they're seeing from the active projects and active accounts, and how can we prevent those? Um, when you're thinking about very large, complex proposal applications, even more important than to, to make sure that you are looking at the highest risk items um, and consulting your colleagues appropriately for there. Um, for, and then, for example, does your uh, institution have conflict of interest policies that might um, need to be addressed at the time of proposal and not wait until the time of award. Um, that can certainly come up and that that is something that could be devastating if it's not addressed at the forefront because you don't want to be put in a situation that delays the award from starting or now you have to even worse have to um, uh, do a prior approval for a PI change because the conflict couldn't be managed as an example there. Um, knowing your colleagues, for example, even in like, you know, a procurement office, a purchasing office, oftentimes we're required to produce quotes to make sure um, that we are budgeting, you know, according to, to what uh, realistic prices are. Um, are you familiar with your own institutional practices in that that can really affect the post world world because you want to make sure that you're budgeting as accurately as possible and projecting as 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 accurately as possible.